This is one of the motor vehicle bones located at Lugogo in Kampala. Inside the bond, there are only two 2016 motor vehicles, but the rest were manufactured before 2010. This bond is likely to remain empty if a bill recently approved by cabinet comes into law. The bill which, if passed, will come into force on 1st July, prohibits the importation of cars older than eight years from the date of manufacture. The peasant can't buy, buy such a car because it can't, it can't move on their roads. They've got bad roads, you know. The acting director for economic affairs in the Ministry of Finance, Moses Kagua, told NTV that the bill hinges on the need to protect the environment from the dangerous emissions from old vehicles. The thinking is that uh, the damage to the environment uh, will not be great for the cars that are below five years. However, motor vehicles which are eight years or older that will be in transit before the commencement of the act will be allowed to enter the country, but they will incur a 50% levy on their cost insurance and freight value. Kagwa says the law is also meant to encourage investment in the local automotive industry, as agreed by the heads of state of the East African community countries. All new vehicles which will be manufactured in the region eventually would find it very difficult to compete against uh, the old vehicles which come here with values as low as $1,000. The new bill, however, excludes special purpose vehicles such as tractors, breakdowns, rories, crane rories, and firefighting vehicles, among others. Additionally, old vehicles already in the country will be left to continue operating, but they will incur an extra levy to be charged during the periodic inspection. The Minister of Finance has already sent the bill to Parliament for consideration, but MPs have given differing opinions on the matter. Most of these uh, illnesses you, that are not explainable, a part of that kind of, those, those fumes from those vehicles, they are very, very old. You, many people buy vehicles of 20 years here in Uganda and they call them new. Some of the cars we have in our bonds are not even purchasable, and yet they are there much older than that. So um, I will support that bill. Now that bill will definitely be eliminating the low-income earners who have been able to buy not so new cars, but be able to pay taxes so that other Ugandans can benefit from what they are paying. NTV also sought out views of regular Ugandans. Kenya, they don't use these cars of 1993, 94, 96. They use from 2000 and above. Now in Rwanda, it's the same thing. They are using new cars. But in Uganda here, we go to any rubbish and put in the country. We find that even a low-income earner is able to buy what? Second-hand car of what's it, 2 million, 3 million. Whereby there's high rate of what? Jam. Second-hand cars, we use them. If they bring new cars only, who will buy them? Only these big guys in the parliament, these guys who are eating our money. Surprisingly, if the bill is passed into law, the Minister of Finance admits that the country will lose revenue since 80% of the cars currently imported are 8 years old and above. Many Ugandans would wish to support this new legislation from government, but their major concern is the high taxes still charged on the new cars that are imported into the country. Habad Ziwa, NTV, Weekend Edition.